One of the most frequent questions that I am asked about my work is, what is a soul reading? So tonight, I'm going to explain a little bit about it so that you will understand more easily how it is possible to read your soul. I like to use the analogy of a carpet. If you look at a carpet below your feet, wherever you're sitting, and how it fills up the whole room, you can imagine that carpet as you, and I mean that you with a capital Y, that is the whole of you, all that you are, ever have been, ever will be. And each of those little tufts that make up the carpet, that make up the weaving, is a lifetime, an experience that you have had. Each of them have contributed to what you are now, each of them are contributing from the future because no time exists, really. So that carpet, as all of you, holds the potential for that which you can be in this moment as the person that you are. And that shows you how minute this lifetime is in comparison to the infinite capabilities that you possess. So when I do a soul reading for someone, I look at the whole soul. I look at what parallel lives are now contributing most emphatically to this lifetime, how to work with the potentials that you have brought into this world, your gifts, and also how all of the potentiality from other lifetimes is impacting you in this moment and how to use that potential. So sometimes people will ask me, well, can you tell me if I'm going to buy a red car tomorrow? No, that's a psychic reading and that is not something that I do. That lives in a world that is a uh, field and stream of thought. It is in the newest sphere of the earth. It is not within the soul fabric of you. And that is not where I go. I go to that world of spirit that holds the essence that you are. And in that, Am I able to join with you? Because you see, there is no separation. There is no thing such as locality or one place or one time. You and I are one as you sit listening to me right now so that I am able to feel you, sense you, see you in the infinite essence of you through that reading. So when people ask me for a soul reading and then they say, well, will you look at this issue or that issue? Definitely yes. And as I do that, I'm able to see through their potential what would be the best way to handle each of those issues. And it makes it infinitely easier to live this life in the oneness, in the one heart, in the love that we each hold so innately within our being and then to bring forth the gifts that we've brought to the earth, no matter what the environment is that you are living in. So hopefully this is going to give you a little bit of uh, assistance in deciding whether you'd like a soul reading, whether there is anything that you would like to bring up, an issue that you would like cleared for yourself, and know that the common union of our joining together, my higher self and your higher self, to read your soul, salutes the grace, the gift that you and I are to each other. And so with that, I give you the deepest namaste, and I know that you wish the same to me as well. For we are one, and in that oneness are we blessed.